And once again, we're back together. So we are looking at question six from our technical maths paper two from May, June, 2024. So please, if you haven't subscribed, just make sure you're part of the family. Just click that subscribe button. All right, now let's get right into the question. They say the diagram below shows a cyclic quadrilateral, TSMR. So that's a very special thing to mention. Right, the fact that it is a cyclic quad. So we're going to have to remember some of the properties of a cyclic quad. They say to us TS is 22 meters, TR is 18, uh, angle T is 67, and angle R1 is 42.5. Okay, right. Now let's get into the questions. They say to us, determine the length of SR. Now, so let's quickly have a look at it. So the length that we're looking for is this length over here, right? Now, when I look at it, we've got the most information in triangle TSR. So meaning this triangle over here, right? And note what we have. We've got two sides and the angle in between those sides. Now, for those of you who've seen me do a two-dimensional trigonometry, you know that I always advise that when we've got two sides, and an included angle, we always use the cosine rule. So I'm going to say, right, so that's SR squared. That would be TR squared plus TS squared minus two times TR multiplied by TS. Now, remember when you're doing the cosine rule, right, it's the two sides. And it's, again, the very two sides uh, on the, uh, from the minus 2TR. And then this is going to be cosine of the included angle. And uh, included angle in this case is angle T, right? All right, cos of angle T. By the way, I was meant to also uh, mention in which triangle I'm working in. So I'm in triangle TSR. Please always mention that. Right, so now let's substitute what we have. We've got TR, which is 18, so that would be 18 squared plus 22 squared minus 2 times 18 times 22, and this is the cosine of the included angle, which is 67. Now, please remember this is SR squared, so which means that to find SR, we would need to take the square root of that entire thing. All right, now I'm just going to put that in my calculator. All right, let me put it back on math mode. Okay, so that's going to be the square root of 18 squared plus 22 squared minus 2 times 18 times 22, the cosine of 67 degrees. Right, I get an, an, a value. SR is 22 point, let's say, 33. Right, so when I round it off, I get 22.33. Right, so that's in meters. So they wanted us to find the size of angle M. Now, remember, because we said that this is a cyclic quad, what do we know? We know that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad, right, are supplementary. So, which means that angle T plus angle M would give us 180 degrees. And please always state the reason, right? So, these are opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Okay, and that means that angle M should be equal to 180 minus 67. All right, so that's 180 minus 67, and that gives us 113. So we know this angle here is 113 degrees. All right, so there we go. That's angle M. So they say to us, answer the following questions with regard to triangle SMR. So now we are working in this triangle. 
they say SM. Okay, so that's the sine rule. So which means we're looking at the side SM divided by the angle opposite that. So that's angle R1 will be equal to SR. So SR, which is the angle opposite SR? That's definitely angle M. So that will be the sine of angle M. Please don't forget to put that little guppy, that little hat there to show that it is an angle that we are talking about. Okay. Now they say hence determine the length of SM. So we're going to use exactly that. So we're going to say SM divided by the sine of R1, angle R1 is equal to SR divided by the sine of angle M. Right, so SM is, uh, we're looking for SM actually. So let's substitute the sine of R1. So that's the sine of 42.5 is equal to SR. We just found angle SR, I mean side SR, which is 22.33 divided by the sine of angle M, which is 113. So we're going to do a little bit of the gymnastics there mathematically. So SM... If we cross multiply, the sine of 113 will be equal to uh, 22.33 sine of 42.5. And we're going to divide that by the sine of 113. Okay, so let's find the side SM. So we said that's 22.33 sine of 42.5. We close that bracket and this is divided by the sine of 113. And that gives us 16.39 meters. Okay, so I always prefer to go and put that there. So that's 16.39. Okay, as per the examiner's instruction, they said we must leave our answers to two decimal places. So that's why I'm leaving that in two decimal places. Right, so we found the length of SM. Okay, that's 16.39. Okay. Okay. Right, and then finally, they say to us, uh, the area of triangle SMR must be fertilized, okay? One bag of fertilizer covers 15,178 square meters, okay? They say determine the number of bags of fertilizers needed to cover the area of triangle SMR. So firstly, what we'll need to do, let's find out what the area of triangle SMR is, right? We use the area rule. And please remember, we always take the two sides and the included angle. So this is triangle SMR, right? So which are the two sides that we know of, right? We know the side SR, we know the side SM, but we don't have the included angle. Otherwise, then we'd have to actually work out what, uh, what side RM is. But that's not necessary because we can find angle S2, right? Because that's sum of angles on a triangle, in a triangle, right? So we're going to say in triangle SMR, we know that R1 angle R1 plus angle S2 plus angle M should be equal to 180. All right, that's angles in a triangle. Okay, right. And so angle S2 will be, let's just work it out. That's 180 minus the sum of the two angles. That's 113 plus 
42.5. Okay, I get a value of 24.5. Okay, so we get that angle there to be 40, and I mean 24.5. So I'm going to take the area of this triangle. Okay, so that's going to be the side SR, right, and the side SM. And the included angle is angle S2. So, area of triangle SMR would be half. We said SR, SM, SR times SM, the sine of angle S2 angle s2 right so let's put those values there so that's sr we said that sr is 22.33 sm is 16.39 that's the sine of angle 22 24 we said that's 24.5, right? Okay. So 0 0.5 times 22.33 times 16.39. And this is the sign of the included angle 24.5. Right. I get a value... Okay, I get a value of 75.8, well, let's say 89 square meters, right? So they told us that the, you know, the, Rather, the fertilizer, one bag of fertilizer covers 15, actually, it's not 15,000. I read it as 15,000, but it's 15.175 square meters, right? But how many bag of fertilizers do we need? So we're going to take the area that is covered by one bag. Actually, we're going to take the total area, right, divided by the area that is covered by one bag. So to find out the number of bags that we need okay so the number of bags would be the area of triangle smr divided by the area or rather in this case the area per bag Right, so this gives us 75.89, and we're going to divide that by 15.178. Okay, so let's take that. In fact, I'm just going to take the value as is. I'm just going to divide that by 17178. Right, so if you notice there, that's 4.999. Actually, that's an equivalent of five bags. Okay, so which means that we need five bags of fertilizer. Fertilizer. And that is truly how the cookie crumbles, guys. I hope that you got this. So this is a little bit of uh, Euclidean geometry, right? We were using that there uh, in terms of cyclic quads, but it's also two-dimensional trigonometry. You need to know your sine rule and your cosine rule. Uh, but, well, that's it for question number six, and I hope that you guys understood. And we will be covering question number seven in our next video. But for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.